Hello, BookTube. Um, this is a Book Trek 2021 video. Um, it's an event that is a five month mission. So, August was the original series. Read a, a, a novel from that period. Um, we did have some folks uh, do some comic books um, from the original series. Uh, the the September will be the next generation. Uh, October is uh, Deep Space Nine, November Voyager, and then December Enterprise, which, other than the original series, is my favorite. So um, this has been great fun. Our fearless leader is uh, over at Revenant Reads, and then we have uh, Michael K. Vaughn, Gina Stanier, and Steve Donahue, and myself all co-hosting. Um, it's been great fun. Love watching the other hosts. Uh, they're very creative, and uh, yeah, it's been it's been a, it's been a good time. Um, it's fun visiting all these things again. So, uh, I one the the novel I read for the month is uh, Star Trek Ice Trap uh, by L. A. Graff, um, and it's about an ice world, as you can imagine, and it's ice and ocean. And uh, two things that I enjoy. Well, they got a bit of a glare going here. See if I can get rid of that. There we go. Uh, you, I, the sort of thing I'm apt to like. And um, first thing, the cover really, I think, should have been Chekhov in Uhura. I know the captain's the captain, and I know Dr. McCoy's Dr. McCoy. But in this story, I think they sort of stole the show. For good and bad reasons, which I'll get to. So you have a planet called Nordstrahl, okay? And it's an icy, oceany world. And there's a pharmaceutical company here that harvests a krill-like creature. Um, the Enterprise has been called in because there's been some very strange psychological things going on with folks. Pretty extreme. Uh, and very dangerous. And then the planet has such a wild magnetic field that things have been causing problems technologically there. And um, so you, that's the setup. And when the Enterprise arrives, they're going to try to a search and rescue mission, search and rescue both, on a shuttle that went down. And um, as they're planning for that, they, of course, have to worry about how well their equipment will work. And there's a planetary manager named Steno, who's your typical just jerk, all-around jerk, bad people person, pushy. Um, he runs into the, the um, Federation officers who he does. He doesn't like anything about the Federation. You have a tribe of folks called the Kitka that are natives. You have um, an amass, a messianic type character who's native, but who has been uh, in contact with off-world people for quite a while and has picked up some habits. And then you have uh, the world itself, which becomes a character here. This is a very adventure novel and it runs on two tracks. The one track is the Uhura Chekhov track, and they are in a shuttle trying to find this other shuttle. And they have to deal with Steno from that point on, and then Alien, who is the demagogue from, from the um, Kitka tribe. And then... Um, Captain Kirk and McCoy end up on a ship, a submarine, and um, and they have adventures there. And it is a good setting for Kirk because it's a ship, but it's a ship that has a captain, a, a woman. Um, I think her name was, oh, I should have written it down, uh, Mandeville, I think. Um, now I can't remember the name of the ship. Anyhow, it, doesn't, it, it does matter, but it doesn't matter for what I'm talking about. McCoy actually makes a, a joke at one point that, well, you know, you're running into yourself here a little bit, Kirk. Um, she's a good captain. Things happen. 
and it's a good thing Captain Kirk's there, as it always is. And and there's that storyline. And they see it. One of the sea monsters is a kraken underwater, and it, it's it's quite a, quite an interesting story. But the Uhura Chekhov story is the more interesting part of the novel, I think, and it succeeds because of the Kitka, because of this fight against the ice itself, because of how the tribe. Um, deals with their own world and what a lesson that is and I thought Chekhov was really well drawn here but I think the failure in the novel and, and it it matters but the novel's really good I really enjoyed it it's an adventure read for sure I think the fail was how do you how do you portray Uhura and she's Chekhov's in charge of their security, but she's senior person. Um, the translator has trouble because of the magnetic fields, all their technology does. And everything Chekhov does is designed to protect the group. And he he does everything he plans out, the equipment, he plans out where you are compo compared to where the pharmaceutical folk are and the tribe, and he's watching everything, and he's doing exactly what he should be doing. And what I found irritating is that Uhura kept overriding him. Well, we can trust these, we can trust that, we can, you know, and it just got a little unrealistic, I thought. If he's in charge of security, you got to give him his space, right? Obviously, you could overdo those things in some situations, but it just seemed like when the novelist did it, he didn't give a real good reason for her to keep overriding Chekhov. And Chekhov ends up being right about everything. And you can see it coming. Um, so that that's, to me, my gripe with the book. It kept pulling me out a little bit of the story. Um, but, but the Uhura Chekhov part of the novel was the best part of the novel for me. So I would actually recommend the book for a good adventure read with the caveat that I think the author could have done a little better with Uhura. Um, great job with uh, Chekhov. Great job with the, um, the, the native folk. And um, a, a good job on the uh, ship that McCoy and Kirk were on and a good job on them. But again, the... It could, it, with a little more thought, it could have been a much better novel. But I really enjoyed reading it. I would recommend it. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's number 60 in the series. So I'm going to have to pick, I'll do a different video about it, of what I'm going to do for the next generation. You can cover that whole next generation to Picard run. I haven't decided yet. I've got quite a few of them. Um, so we'll we'll give it a... We'll give, I'll give it a review today and maybe uh, do an announcement video later. And I still have a tag to do, so um, that's related to Book Track uh, 2021. So, been a great first month, four to go. Enjoyed it very much. And like I say, the co hosts, I'll link them down below. They've all been very creative, so uh, it's, been, it's been great fun. So, thank you, Booktube.